I'm Kim Shea from Shea Companions. In past segments, we've talked about sibling rivalry. And as I've said before, you may think sibling rivalry is a thing that died out when you were a small child. But when you're taking care of an aging parent, sibling rivalry can come back and it can create a real rift between siblings, especially if you have one sibling who's doing the lion's share of the care for the aging parent and the other ones are not. What I'd like to uh, address in this particular segment is what to do when you are the one who's not doing the lion's share of the care. How can you be supportive of the sibling who is doing the bulk of the care, the one who is living with mom or lives down the street from mom and is always there day and night when mom needs help? It's understandable you may have a life set up in a different part of the country or a different part of the town and it's not easy for you to get over to help out with your parent. You may have a very demanding job that doesn't allow you to take off time during the weekdays to help out. But if you have a sibling who is doing that, obviously you really appreciate what they're doing for your mom. You, you really need to show that though. So of course it's important to send thanks. Send a text on a regular basis, a very regular basis, saying thank you so much for what you're doing. We're so lucky to have you taking care of mom. The other things you can do that might be a little bit more hands-on. So maybe you can't get there during the week, but can you make some phone calls? On your break, can you make some phone calls to the doctor's office to schedule the appointments? Make sure you understand what the calendar is for your sibling and mom, and then try and figure out if that's going to work for them when you make those, those appointments. You wouldn't want to say, guess what, I've booked an appointment for you, and find out that maybe mom already has an appointment at a different doctor on that day. So make sure you're involved with the calendar so that you know what's happening so you can be helpful to your sibling in that way. Another thing you can do is send something. I would suggest a gift card and a gift card for some food. If your sibling is trying to manage her own life and her own family and she's trying to take care of mom, there are days when dinner springs up before she even knows what happened. So a gift card where she could maybe get some takeout food to take home to her family, and it may seem silly, but it's something that would really be helpful. When I was a caregiver and I had children at home, it, it would be shocking to me that all of a sudden it was time for dinner. And if dinner was available or if somebody brought dinner, that was a tremendous help so that I could spend a little bit more time maybe even getting myself together before dinner started or pick up the house or do something else. Well, that's something that would be very helpful to your sibling. The other thing you can do is go over, show up, give your sibling a break. So if you live far away, it might not be something you can do very often because perhaps you have to buy a plane ticket, but go. Go as often as you can and be supportive. Let your sibling know, I'm going to be there from Thursday until Sunday night. Let me know what I can do to help. And then find out what it is that you can do to help. If she needs help with running errands or if she wants you to stay home with mom while she runs errands and gets out of the house, that's something that you can do. Try and ask as many questions as possible. How do I do this? What's your routine for how you do this? And then don't be afraid to figure out a way that works best for you and mom. I might be very receptive to taking pills and yogurt from your sister, but from you, she might not want that. So understand there may be some challenges and some difficulty but try and figure out your own way. Get creative and think of what works for you. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. You can comment in the section below. I'll be happy to answer them here on video. If you have any ideas about things that worked for you when you were dealing with your parent and you're not the hands-on caregiver all the time, those could be very beneficial to everybody. So please share that with us. My name is Kim Shea. Thanks for watching.